Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be speaking on Kali Linux and installing it into VMware Workstation. So if you guys are ready for the journey, let's jump into it. Three, two, one. Here we go! All right, folks, so here we are. So the first thing that we need to do is download Kali Linux if you don't have it. I assume that you don't have it if you're watching this video. So let's go out to the interwebs and you can go directly to Kali.org. And I want to zoom that. Whoa, that's too far. And I want to zoom that in. So what you can do is click on download right here on the homepage. And once you get to your platform, if you're using virtual machines, which we are in this video, I'm going to download VMware. I already have it downloaded, but I would click on this if you're using VMware Workstation or VMware Player. I would recommend Workstation Pro so you can have multiple VMs and a better experience. If you're cheap like me, you would use VirtualBox, but VirtualBox is pretty crap. In my opinion, for this lab, I prefer VMware. Then you can use Hyper-V or any other flavor that you, in, that you want. You can even make your own. But once that's downloaded, I wanna go ahead and showcase that. I can't really make this bigger. But in my documents, I have a folder here called HackspaceCon, which I did this at HackspaceCon. So I have the VM files right here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and copy this. And then you can move it over to a folder that you want to. So I want to go ahead and put it into my virtual machines directory. And that shouldn't take long. It's about 13 gigs once it's extracted. And what I want to do once this is there, I want to go ahead and rename it to YouTube or something like that or Cali YouTube, just so we can differentiate it. I want to put YouTube. Okay. So if I click in here, I can go into Cali, the folder, and we can see the directories here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and exit that. I want to go to my VMware workstation and on the computer, you can go right to the computer. Well, I guess you can't in here, but let's just go ahead and go to file open and you can go ahead and go to that directory that you just copied those files to, which I did it to YouTube, go to it and open up the file. And once you open up the file, you can move this into whatever folder. I want to go ahead and rename this as well to Kali. Let me go ahead and rename this. I want to put Kali YouTube. Okay, 2024. Perfect. And obviously my memory, I'm going to go ahead and allocate a little more than this. I want to go ahead and allocate eight gigs of memory. For disk, leave it. For, for network adapter, you can leave it as NAT. Okay, I'm just gonna leave everything as as is. So what you can also do, you can get a little creative. Let's go ahead and go to, in my case, you can go to edit, go to virtual network editor. In here, this is probably gonna be small, we'll probably have to try to zoom this in. But on my NAT network, this is what we're utilizing for the network connection. My subnet is 192.168.100. That's the network that we're gonna be utilizing in this lab. So you can follow along, change your network adapter. Just double click on it and go to change settings. And once change settings comes up, you can come down here and change these IP settings to whatever you want. I have it dot 100, that's what I always use for my labs. And it's just, I just remember it. So you could do the same and just associate that adapter with your VMware and your virtual machines. Okay, so I want to go ahead and power this up. This is going to be a very short and easy video. It's pretty much just double click on it, double clicking on it and just powering it up. So once it's actually powered up, we'll do a few things. We'll update it. And if you really want to get crafty, you can use Pimp My Cali. And I believe someone from TCM Security has created that. So kudos to you. And I'll probably do that for this lab and I'll showcase it once we get this up and running. So let's be patient and yeah, be patient. So 
just to give you guys a little feedback of why I created this series or why I started this is because at Hackspace Con and T, uh, B-Sides Tampa, I did this same exact lab and a lot of people couldn't follow along or the time was too short. So now I have it pre-recorded and you guys can go to town, practice as many times, pause me, start, pause, and all that good stuff. So let's log in with Cali, Cali, <clears throat> and let's go ahead and make this bigger. And let's see if I can make, yep. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead, make this bigger too. And bop, 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 bop. And we could do sudo su and then Cali as the password. So a few things we can do, we can go out to what I wanna do now. Let's go out to Google and just do pimp my Cali and it's right on GitHub. And I think I believe I, I did a video on this. Pimp my Cali GitHub. And you can see right here, right? So you can see Pimp My Cali. This is an awesome tool. And you can see how to run it. You can download it and all this stuff if you have an installation. But I don't obviously have the installation, so I'm just gonna copy this command here, get clone, and I'm just gonna make a directory for tools. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that here. And once that pa once that's pasted, we'll CD into that directory and we can see everything here. So let's come back to the instructions and run sudo dot space. Let's just go ahead and run this and we see everything here. So if it's a new setup, you can go ahead and type in N for new VM setup this will do everything for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control N and let this cook. So what it's gonna do is gonna go update the repository, fix anything, just goes through everything. I do this on every single box that I create, so I just wanted to walk you guys through this. This is the preliminary first thing I do all the time whenever I install a new Kali box. So we'll let this cook. This takes a quite a bit of time. And yeah, that pretty much is that for right now. Give me a few moments and we'll resume once this is done. Okay, so if you get this in your installation, which you probably will, just like it says, read carefully. And do you wanna re-enable the ability to log in as root? I wanna go ahead, for me, I wanna say yes. So just type in Y if you want to. If not, you don't have to. So enabling root gives you root access or gives a root password. So we're gonna to have to give it a new password. So I wanna go ahead and give my fancy password. So it's not gonna be Cali Cali anymore. And this is the next good one to read. Would you like to copy everything from home Cali to root? I'm not gonna do that. I wanna say no, capital N, and let it cook. So we'll resume again once this is done. Okay, so we are done now. So once it's done, I'll say all done, happy hacking. So now what we can do is just cd to home Cali and make sure we have everything now. So that's pretty much it. We can actually cat out the, the OS release just to make sure we are on the latest and greatest, which is 2024.1. So if you made it to this far, you made it this far, let me know. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to help you out. But it's a very, very straightforward install. Hopefully this was informative for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.